In this video, I'm going to be showing you an in-depth plant guide in Blackest 3 Zetsu Ponoshima. So there's three different colors of water, which is purple, green, and blue. There's also another one, that, which is rainbow, but it's pretty much basically purple, green, and blue, but it's just like a 33% chance between all of them. So if you were to water a plant three times with rainbow water, it would be a 33% chance of blue or green or purple. But obviously, if you don't water the plant at all, you'll get the basic plant, which will probably give you a zombie or grenade, an MR6, or anything, you know, basically trash. Now, if you water a plant all green, then you get this plant, which would hold crawlers for you so that you can do whatever you want on the map till you want to end the round which is very convenient if you're doing the easter egg but if you water a plant all blue then you'll just get a reward plant that'll give you power-ups or decent weapons and if you water a plant all purple then you'll get a plant that lures and attacks zombies and if you water a plant with all three colors you'll have a chance to get a fruit plant which will either make your character throw up or give you a free perk but keep in mind if you water a plant with blue water twice and then purple water for the last one then it's just going to be a split chance of what it will be the more blue water you put in it the more chance it'll be the reward plant also if you don't water a plant but shoot the kt for on it every round it'll give you a decent reward like if you watered it all blue for this plant you need the masamune all you have to do is not water it but shoot it with the masamune every round and it'll give you the imprint plant every time which means whatever you have on you like guns perks ammo and gobble gums if you die and have no quick revive you'll get down and bleed out but we'll spawn back in the imprint plant with everything you had and that is an in-depth plant guide on black ops 3 zetsu ponoshima oh my God.